band playing a new song at the Grammys. That's yeah. interesting. You Every, have to look everybody. at any audience as an audience, you know, and they're there to be entertained. You know, and the idea is, is you never go out there with the attitude of, gosh, I hope you like us tonight. You go out there and you go. That's it. Oh, you're mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You grab them, you know, and you hold them. You're not going up there like to a asking them a question. You know what I mean? You're yeah. going up there giving them the, giving the them answer. The answer. <laughs> but, you know, good as you are, bad as I am, as you know, it's a toast. And that's really basically what we're going to be doing is a toast to Lemmy. And then, you know, we're going to do a little bit of Ace of Spades at the end. The, the title of it came from my, um, my uh, stepfather, who uh, went to, made his exit about 15 years ago. Um, but he, he, you know, when I was a kid, he used to do this toast, you know. Here's to, here's, here's to me as good as, or here's to you as good as you are, here's to me as bad as I am, as good as you are, and as bad as I am, I'm still as good as you are, as bad as I am, man, down it. It just so happens that the song is a toast, which fits right in with Lemmy. You know, it just fits right in with the fact that Lemmy did like to drink. I know it's yeah. a shock to everybody, but... Uh, <laughs> I heard that he, had, he did like a drink he, now and he again. Had one, yeah. Once in a while, Occasionally. he would have a drink. Well, I mean, you know, he was just one of the salt of the earth guys. You know, I mean, it was, if you were at a metal festival in, your, in Europe somewhere, you didn't even have to look at who was on the bill. You knew that Motorhead was on the bill somewhere. <laughs> and Lemmy was always backstage holding court, you know, and he was just everybody's best friend. Uh, I don't know how we became a band, but I do know that when Alice, Alice and I had, um, worked on uh, Dark Shadows together, and he was brave enough and kind enough to ask me to, if I wanted to play with him this one night at the 100 Club in, in London, it's a historical place. <clears throat> and so I did, and uh, uh, had an amazing time. You know, I was, I was really. Uh, well, we got to be a bar away. band. And, yeah, we were a, exactly. Yeah. We were a bar band, and no makeup, and, no nothing, <laughs> just a bar band. Ended up, uh, uh, you know, writing songs together, and and sort of talking about the vampire thing. Joe enter Joe Perry, and and, and I was what, what, what was Joe's uh, working well, on my book? Joe just walked in, his <laughs> and I was sick of, sick of working on the book for three hours. And I, and I, you know, these guys were across the street working on the record. And, you know, of course, I'd go over to hang out and listen to what was going on. And they said, you know, here's a guitar, you know, I mean, whatever, you know, what key? It, yeah. it was, it was, it was just, great because we're sitting there and saying, well, you know, we could do this and this. And he didn't even look up. He walked in and said, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what do you mean? He said, I'm in. I'm, I, I said, okay, we've got two guitar players now. Now we need a bass and a drummer. Awesome. You know? that's, and that's it was it. just that simple. And I went, wow, we've got two great guitar players now, that's for sure. You know? And Alice and I have known each other for years and years and years and, um, and had talked about playing together, and it never happened. It, yeah. But it's just one of those things, man. It just, yeah. the synchronicity was amazing. Yeah. I think, I think I, Bruno Mars is probably the most talented guy out there. You know, he's talented. Guy's I amazing. I agree with you. I'm uh, Ronson, I mean, that record's probably the best record of the year by far.